When Islamist rebels got within a day's drive of the capital in January, soldiers in Mali's demoralized army discarded their uniforms and ran away. It was left to French troops with their heavy weapons to drive the insurgents northwards into the desert. We had command chain problems. The entire command chain was broken in Mali. Everyone knows that. And there were problems with cohesion and not enough equipment. If you've got the communication, you can use your communication. Now British soldiers have arrived in the West African country. They've joined a European mission to knock Mali's humiliated army into shape. Training is happening in Scrubland, in the centre of the country, far from the desert where French troops are fighting insurgents. It's tailored to this force with a lot of manpower, but limited technical means. Within weeks, these men will put into practice battlefield tactics honed with the help of an instructor from the Royal Irish Regiment. 800 Malian soldiers are part of this first group, and this European training mission sees for the first time since the First World War Irish soldiers working under British command. The European mission is ambitious. These soldiers have each been given a new uniform and a Kalashnikov, but not a shot has been fired. No one actually knows the size of Mali's army. It is laden with top brass and soldiers past fighting age. Abilities, ages and experience are mixed among the members of the first four battalions to join the course. Uh, what we're here to do is form that battalion into a cohesive unit uh, so as it's ready to go in operations at the end of the 10-week package. I think the, the wealth of experience that we can bring from our operational uh, tours in both Afghanistan and Iraq will be of a huge benefit uh, to these soldiers. The new camaraderie among Mali's soldiers matters beyond the country's borders. In the face of violence under the banner of Islamism, they can never again be an army that runs away. Alex Duval-Smith, BBC News, Kulikuru, Mali.